All right, here at No Reserve, we have uh, this is the second go around for this video. The other one got corrupted, so uh, this is our just incredible one owner uh, 2000 Silverado. It's the LS. Obviously, it's a regular cab with a full eight foot box, four by four. It's got all options. Uh, it's got no paint works ever been done. Um, my license plate's a little crooked here. Let me straighten this guy. It's just magnetic, so it doesn't do any damage. But uh, uh, it's the Victory Red with the pewter bottom, and this this truck has always been garaged. is incredibly clean. You'll see underneath the hood, underneath the, the body is just really clean, honest and sanitary. Hasn't had any paint work done. You can see in the underside video and photos, the bumpers have never been adjusted. No panels been adjusted. Um, all the bolts and nuts, everything on the, the doors, all that stuff, fenders are all original and haven't been adjusted. So we'll go ahead and start off the front here. Um, the inside of the bed, I can't wait to show you guys that, is just incredible. It's had this original, it's had this canopy on it its whole life, and the inside of the bed looks like it's never even really been used. So clearly this owner loved this vehicle and took care of it. Um, let's we'll start off here. It's, uh, you can see the lights are original guides. You can see a little stone chip in the fender right there, uh, but there's no condensation in the lights, no fogging, no cracks or chips. The bumper's in really nice shape with the chrome. The lower balance hasn't been caught on anything. It's not all scuffed up. Top balance is in nice condition. You will get some tiny little stone chips on the front. Um, it did just rain here this morning, so I kind of dried it all off. You know, pine needles blowing on me. But uh, the windshield doesn't have any cracks or anything. Uh, you can see all the plastics and rubber in really nice condition. And pine needles sneaking in here. There's the VIN number. I think there's about 370 photos of this. Mirrors are nice, fold in, nice and smooth. It's had mud flaps on it since new, so it protected the underside really good. You will find some small stone chips, but with that pewter bottom, it's pretty much impossible to see anything, which is nice. Uh, you can see the door edges are really nice. No chips, it's just got these little chips right here. That's it. Doesn't have a bunch of door edge marks. Nothing's happened there. You can see behind the Got some pine needles that blew in there, but you'll see in the photos, it's super clean. It has gone on a couple test drives uh, since the photos and videos, but nothing major. Uh, you'll see all the panel gaps are really nice condition. Uh, you'll see these, uh, so these tires have 20, um, I believe 2021 day code. I'll take a picture of those um, and submit those on there, but you'll see the wheels in really nice condition. It's nice smooth paint, right? Or the nice smooth clear coat aluminum right there. Um, you can see the emblems are really nice. A lot of times these wheels are just got clear coat damage. You will see on a couple where there used to be a wheel weight. Um, I had the tires rebalanced and had the wheel weights put on the back where they should be. And I mean, the nice thing about this thing having a canopy on its whole life, there's no loading scratches or damage on the bedsides. The bedsides are just amazing. A little bit of a little bit of a couple of water, but there's not any type of paint bubbling or anything like that. Um, kind of a bummer the original videos got messed up, but here to make some more. We're gonna do another driving video here in just a moment. Little chip on the tailgate right there. Bumper's really nice and straight, nice chrome, little ding right there. The cover here's got a couple little scuffs in it. But again, that pops right off if you want to replace it. You don't gotta replace the whole bumper, but it, it looks fantastic. And I've had one of these trucks. I've had a 99.5, which is the same body style as this since 2001. It's all pewter. Um, I just love the truck. These things go forever. This thing's only got 135,000 miles. It is a Lear canopy. It's fully insulated. It, and you can see the, the rear hatch stays up fine. Don't gotta hold that up. Tailgate open smoothly, but look at the bed. It's just beautiful. Some pine needles kind of blown in here, a little bit of dust and stuff, but. Got a little scratch right here. A little, little scratch right there, but this actually is on top of the paint, so you can get that with a little lacquer there. I'll get rid of that. Um,
just super clean shape and the thing about this truck that's so hard to find it makes this truck so rare is this front end to me is the, the best looking silverado front clip and they only did this from 99 and a half until the 2002 model year and then in 03 and with the, the kind of the angry eyebrow look uh which i'm not a fan of and I have a 68 and a 69 C10. And the cool thing about this is when I park those trucks right next to this one, you can see the direct family resemblance. They're just an awesome looking body style, timeless, but extremely hard to find. So I'll take you on the inside here. Got my, uh... so there's pictures. The carpets are in extremely nice shape. There's pictures of that. Got the console, folds up. So you got seat belts for three. Dash is just immaculate. Got the original books, broche, the original books that come with it, original dealer shield, and then uh, it was purchased brand new at Cedro Woolley. There's a sticker in here. There it is. A countryside Chevrolet in Cedro Woolley, always been in the Northwest. Zero rust. We don't use any salt on the road. See this area is nice and clean back here. Headlines perfect. No odors, no animals, no smoking. But you look at the seats are just killer. Got your folding. This little area is kind of like a little put your cell phone or clip something to be writing on. Cup holders. Got a couple coins in there. Looks like you got your ports never been smoked in you see the ashtray super nice and clean and you got your rpr codes there's photos of that up a door panel oddly enough both door panels are mint nothing's been taken off no rattles no squeaks you see the paint is just beautiful around the underside of the door through the rocker and door jams I mean, it is just beautiful victory red paint. Uh, but both door panels on each side have a little weird marker there, and I do not know what that's from. So I'll take you around to the driver's side, and we'll pop under the hood, and then uh, we'll go ahead and take it for a rip. Again, there's photos uh, of this, the top all the way around. And what's awesome about this, and you can tell this truck has been garaged and taken care of, is the paint job on these aftermarket canopies is never as good as the factory paint that comes on the truck and they get clear coat damage real easy but the paint on this canopy is matches 100 percent and it's just as macular as the truck so here's the driver's door panel again just that strange little mark right there which doesn't take away from me but just wanted to mark it out and this is kind of there's going to be some notes on this thing that's going to show you that you know to me somebody who buys a truck in 2000 probably actually purchased it in 99 being a year ahead um and keeps it this long this just wasn't a pickup to him uh, this was a vehicle that was loved and cared for um, and it was kind of like part of the family but you'll see these old notes in a couple spots on the hood you know his, his torx fettings for his uh, for the wheels you know he wants to keep a note of that and if you want to pop those off it's real easy to do i mean look at the door hinges and the steering wheel it's not this isn't cheap uh plastic this is the, the nice leather feels really good nice and tight there is this this weird little mark right here but I'm um, not real sure what that's from. But you can see all the buttons are nice and clear. Anybody that knows this generation of truck or the previous generations, the buttons just get worn real easy on the mouth. And sometimes you'll see them, they're kind of clear, they're all white right here, but they're, every button is crisp and clear. You see that driver's seat, beautiful. Just a little bit of wear right here. I'll pop the hood. I mean, this thing is uh, the nicest one of this Jenner Silverado, you know, I have seen in a long time. You see it all along the hood, the underside. It is just crazy clean. And some of these pine needles, we had a crazy windstorm this morning and it's blew them everywhere. You see all the decals. So I'll make sure all these pine needles are out of your hair here. But yesterday was raining like crazy. The day was raining, it was raining like crazy the day before that floods everywhere so i got an opportunity to take this video with no rain coming down on us and kind of had to take it so we got to deal with the pine needles 
but I mean it is just super clean and this is what I was talking about you know makes markings of when it, the air filter was replaced when the coolant was replaced it's just this is like this is the old school man stuff that you'll see in 60s and 70s trucks and you know it's got um, when he did the washer fluid I mean it's just this is love and care for a vehicle um, and then you'll also see on the Carfax it just has amazing maintenance on it um, always professionally taken care of and I can pretty much guarantee no matter what the models are you're gonna have a really hard time finding this generation of Silverado this clean and being the regular kind of platform and this is a really rare color combo um, it's gonna be a killer truck for the second owner and uh, you're gonna take it at 135,000 miles and no reserve so good luck